Oh, bro, bro, oh. chill out, man. What are you Whoa. doing? What's up, man? You don't have to do that. What are you doing, man? What are you talking about, I'm getting a six pack. Nah, man. I got a jump rope for you. You don't need to do that. What do you mean? That's how you get abs. What's up, Zen Dude Nation? Today we're gonna talk to you about jump rope training to get a six pack. Now you can do all the crunches and ab rolls and leg lifts in the world. One leg, one leg, one leg. Six pack. But if you do not have your food and your overall cardio intact, you are not going to get a six pack. A lot of our community members, Geese. Today we're gonna dive into how do you create the physique, which is really what we're all after, right? Dan and I don't jump rope just because we think it's cool. We jump rope because it gives us the result we want. If you want some help getting that six pack on, join our free four week challenge. It's linked up in the first line of the description. Dan and I will coach you up, we'll give you workouts, we'll give you love, we'll give you everything you need to sexify your body. So first off guys, let's talk about equipment. What do you need to create a six pack? Now you don't need a gym, you don't need anything like that, but what you do need is a weighted handle jump rope. That weighted handle jump rope is gonna help you burn more calories, so help you remove more fat from your body in less time. The weighted handle jump rope provides more resistance on your body. And when there's more resistance, you're activating more muscles, you're spending more energy, which is calories, which helps you burn more fat. You guys wanna know the real secret behind getting six pack abs? Here it is guys, 95% of you getting a six pack is going to be dialing in your nutrition. Specifically, people talk all the time about eating healthy foods. That's not what I'm talking about right now. What I'm talking about is eating the right amount of calories and the right ratio of macronutrients for your body. So basically what you need to do is eat less calories than you are expending. We've linked up a calculator for you in the description that's gonna help you out with that. And uh, you can see here, we're giving you a little tutorial showing you how this is used. So this works for just about everyone, men and women. So I'm gonna do it for myself. I'm 26 years old as I'm making this video. I'm a man, so I'm gonna click man, male. I weigh 185 pounds. I am six foot two, which is 74 inches. I am highly active because you guys, I'm exercising every single day and then some. Um, my goal is to lose weight, you know, I wanna stay nice and lean. So I'm gonna go down here and click calculate calories, but there's one more step. I'm a guy, I'm a man, so I'm gonna click high for protein. I'm gonna calculate it again. If I was a woman, I would calculate medium. This is for protein down here, guys. So if you're a woman, Go medium, calculate again, you'll see the protein and carb fat ratio changes. If you're a man, click high protein, calculate. There you go, you get your numbers down here. Total calories, carbohydrates, protein, and fats. And once you have this, you can head over to a site like myfitnesspal.com. You can create an account here. And then on the daily, track your food intake. Whatever you're eating, just put it in there and make sure you're hitting the numbers that the calculator gave you. All right guys, so you can download the MyFitnessPal app. Super easy. That's it. Next up you guys, nothing's gonna replace your effort. All right, specifically doing all out effort on jump rope run in place. You guys think about a sprinter, for example. They have the ideal zen dude or dudette physique. Nice and sculpted, lean, but not bulky. Well, you can replicate this by doing jump rope run in place. Next up, working out before you eat, or as we call it, and as they call it in the scientific community, working out fasted. Haven't had anything to eat since last night, and I feel fast. Yeah, fast, feel fast. What does this mean? It just means that you're working out before you eat your first meal. So if you can, before work, try to go get a high intensity jump rope workout in. When you're doing this, you're mobilizing stored fat and removing it from your body. What happens when you remove fat from your body? You reveal what's underneath, which is musculature in the abdominal region, also known as a six pack. 
we really want to also encourage you to do high intensity interval training. So when you do high intensity interval training, also known as HIIT, H-I-I-T, you are, again, mobilizing more fat in your body in that moment and then also for the rest of the day. There's a thing that happens called EPOC, E. P-O-C, you like all these acronyms? And basically what that means is that your resting metabolic rate increases, so for the rest of the day, you're burning more calories than you would otherwise. Really the goal with everything we're telling you, you guys, is to make sure you're burning as many calories as possible, because when you are, you're more likely to be in a calorie deficit, helping you lose more body fat. So what HIIT, or high intensity interval training is, is going through periods of all out effort, for example, jumping rope as hard as you can, or sprinting rope as hard as you can, with complete rest. 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 And this pattern helps you increase your resting metabolic rate, meaning for the rest of the day, your body's burning more calories than it would otherwise. In addition to getting your nutrition down, to jumping rope, yes, you do want to build the abdominal muscles. So we have a few exercises we wanna recommend for you. One exercise we recommend is leg raises. Another exercise is planks. And finally, mountain climbers are awesome as well for helping you sculpt those abdominal muscles. And you guys, there's tons more ab exercise you can do. We just wanted to give you a few to get you going. At the end of the day, what's gonna create the most results is you getting your nutrition down, you making sure that you're in a calorie deficit, which we discussed before by doing things like jumping rope, and the icing on the cake, the cherry on top that's gonna really give you that sexy six pack is going to be doing ab exercises.